Alright folks, well uh, last video I did I kind of gave you a rundown that I purchased the LCP Ruger. Um, you all know that I have a Glock 26 uh, 9mm <clears throat> which I can throw a magazine in. All these have been safety checked a billion times. I have no bullets in the area. All these clips are empty, verified. But uh, I'll show you what the 10 round magazine looks like. And I will show you what the stock magazine looks like on the Ruger. Both uh, very flat, very nice. Um, I didn't think I'd need any type of an extension for the Ruger, so I was like, cool, uh, because I like my Glock. Um, I did purchase the extension for the Glock, and I ended up not liking it actually. I like the fa I like the way the my pinky goes right underneath. Um, and kind of tucks the gun in and it, it just feels so secure and nice. It's very very comfortable so when I picked up my Ruger I was thinking the same thing um, and the cool thing about the Ruger is it actually came with um, a bottom clip and this is this is their factory one that comes with the with the gun and so I tried it out. I was like cool well I'll give it a shot <clears throat> So I did fire the gun in the backyard. Um, my impressions, very accurate. Um, I am by no means a weapons or handgun professional at all. And uh, at, at a good 20, 20 feet, I was hitting uh, about three inch groups. And uh, that's pretty good for me. Um, so I was, I was very pleased with the performance of this uh, gun. The only thing I didn't like, it was kind of uncomfortable, and if you can see, I like to tuck my finger, and it just, it's like a, you know, you really only have that. It's like you're lopsided with my hands, and and my hands are, I mean, I guess if you have really huge hands, it would be just a one finger hold. Now, I have uh, small hands, so with small hands, it's just completely awkward for me, completely. It's not like the Glock, where it's just perfect. Wham! I got. Two, I like to have two fingers on that. And it just tucks perfectly and fits fits my hand absolutely perfect, right? So I tried the uh, other clip, and the gun only comes with one clip. I actually purchased some more clips uh, through the mail. I got these clips, twenty one dollars each. Um, twenty one dollars with the uh, extension. Now look at that does. Cool. Two hands, tuck, just like I like it. Perfect. And I shot it again yesterday, and wow, what a difference. And I'm in love with it. It is an absolutely fantastic gun. Um, digging it. Oh, this is my holster for my Glock. Uh, it's a it's wild build holster. Um, it, it's nice. I like it. It's quick. It's easy. It covers up the trigger. Um, it's good just to shove in the uh, drawer or whatnot. It's it's not as you know, I don't like to carry a large weapon with me. I, I it's not like I am in a job that uh, <clears throat> makes me a target after work. So I don't really expect to be in any danger. Um, uh, my biggest threat is maybe being attacked by a wild, wild dog in the uh, woods, and I think that this would dispatch that very quickly. Um, so for me, um, this is my camper slash home defense gun, um, and that's that's kind of where it, in my system how it's working for me. Now, if the zombies come, I do have the 33 round uh, magazine, <clears throat> and uh, this gun really shoots nice like this. I can just hold it like this, and I'm dead on target all 33 rounds. Um, very easy gun to hit your target. You point, you shoot, it, it hits it. It's amazing. Um, I do have one that's manufactured by Glock. That was $29 or $33, I forget. And then this one is an off-name brand, and this one works really nicely. It's, the the quality's not quite as good as the Glock, but it for $19, cool, cool beans. Loving it, and it worked just fine. I, it had no problems feeding or anything enough on the Glock but uh, I feel if I can't hit my target with uh, 10 rounds um, you know I, I don't really need extra magazines or anything like that uh, same thing um, 
10 rounds is enough. Six rounds is enough also. Very cool, very cool, I love it. Um, I'm enjoying this LCP, really cool. And to break it down, gosh darn, I left it in the other room. But uh, to break it down, I have a round screwdriver that fits right in there perfectly and it pops it open and it does it, it has no reason to scratch or it does not scratch this up at all. I did notice that after firing it for a while, it was um, wearing here, not like it should. I mean, like the Glock, everything works exactly like it should. It's just a perfect weapon. This one does have some, you know, you can see that it's a newer design and maybe they're, you know, probably the next time, maybe in a couple years or if it sticks around for a while, they'll modify certain aspects of it. But it's nothing that um, a little file uh, didn't fix and I polished up the top a little bit and I polished up the ramp and it's running a lot smoother and cleaner. Um, I do like how the magazine just really pops out. The Glock doesn't really do that kind of stuff. You know, the Glock does when it's empty, but when it's full, it doesn't quite eject it the way I like. But uh, this this really runs nicely. Uh, cool beans. You guys can uh, see the scratching on there. I've seen a lot of complaints. I'm not getting any gouges, but what I did do is I have <clears throat> this dry lube and it's called Tough Glide and I just covered my uh, guide rod with that and allowed it to dry and it, if you can kind of see it, it's almost got like a complete hard shell coating on it that doesn't chip off and that's basically, I mean everything works really nicely this is great stuff by the way and it doesn't stay wet so it doesn't attract any uh, uh, dirt or grime um, I don't like to get oil or anything in the back portion but in the forward portion, I do coat a few things. I put a little, uh, I got some extra car paint, and uh, I didn't want to put a white dot, but I did put a, it's, it's kind of like a burgundy color, and uh, if you can kind of see it, it's shiny. Um, so in the daylight, or in the sunlight, it really does illuminate nicely, and it just makes it a little bit easier to get a sight picture on that. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that sight picture here. Let me see if I can get it for you. Bam. See, it's really hard to... But when you're firing it, it, it lines up nicely. Works out Works out for the good. And I do like the fact um, that you can really pull back on this. You can just rest it right there and bam. You can really line this up and really hit your target. Um, and the 380 is a is a lot more powerful than I thought it was, um, and I'm I'm pretty pleased with the penetration. Um, in my yard, I in my little range, I do have a small tree that I like to hang things from, and um, the, the it's a you know it's a nice sized tree, nice and thick. I had a uh, cut off again. I'm sure on this memory card, uh, but anyway, I, I'm very impressed with the Ruger. Um, I like it. A lot of people say the 308 is not powerful enough. I'm not a ballistics expert, but uh, I definitely would not want to get shot by one of these. If I got shot in the leg with a Ruger, I would definitely be uh, not going anywhere. So, uh, maybe if my job was being a police officer or the fact that I could probably run into a bunch of gangbangers because I, you know, lock people up for a living, um, yeah, I would carry the, uh, the 26. But this is an awful large uh, handgun to be carrying around. I, I tell you honest. I mean, this thing is large. Um, anybody that says this is compact, like I said, you, I'm a comfortable kind of guy. I like to put my shorts on and uh, throw on my, my hiking boots and uh, uh, you know, and go for a walk. I really don't like this thing dangling from from the side of my belt. You know, like I said, inside the camper and, you know, inside the house, my backyard, if someone's, you know, breaking into my uh, car downstairs, I'm not going to be grabbing the Ruger, okay? I'm going to be grabbing the Glock. <clears throat> I feel very confident that I can hit my target with the Glock 26 also. I'm very, very confident that I can hit what I aim at with this. Um, and that's why for me, I feel it's a really good uh, house gun. Uh, if someone was in the house, I would hit my target. 
even if I was shaking and I was a little bit nervous, I would be able to uh, come down and uh, get a good sight and uh, maybe uh, blow a big hole in his chest. But anyway, <clears throat> the uh, Ruger, on the other hand, it's very accurate. Um, you know, but it's it's a good compromise for me. Um, I like it. Um, and it, it, it's also good for, uh, I have had some situations where I have been chased by a wild dog and it would have been very nice to have the LCP. Um, I've also been chased by two other wild animals and uh, it would have been very nice to have had the LCP, um, especially with my family around. So, uh, like I said, when it comes to me, um, the, L the Luger... Uh, LCP here, Ruger LCP, excuse me, it is a very good option for my system, as Nut and Fancy would say, and different people. I guess your system is important. I like that terminology. Um, cool little case. I, I look at that how it fits in there, nice. And this is the Secret Agent. Um, it does clip on the on the inside of your waistband, or you can just throw it in your pocket. Now this is something I was showing you. Look at that. If it's in your pocket, a lot of these uh, pocket holsters that I tried out, the gun would kind of fall. It just wouldn't stay where it needed to stay. You can really find where this gun is. You can really just push off, you know, and, and it's right there for you. You come out and you, you got a nice grip on it. Um, and you can see right here also with the uh, clip, It that's the one that's it comes with there and it also comes with this but here's the extended one no difference so it's not really causing any extra room to be taken up so having that nice purchase on this gun is, is easy to obtain it's not like the Glock when you do put the extension on it really makes a big difference this thing will stick out your back and it, there's really no you know, other than wearing a jacket or a long shirt, you're not covering this up. At th this one right here, wearing this like this, um, you, you can cover this with a t-shirt, no problem. No problem. You might have a little bu bulge, but that's about it. You put the extended grip on it, though, and just, in my experience, you're not, you're not going to be concealing this. You know? So, me being a, a lover of t-shirts, uh, this gun right here is just the bomb. I really like it. So that's about it. I know this video really dragged on. Um, hey, great videos. Uh, I've been watching on the internet and uh, just enjoying YouTube. And you, you guys that are making videos all the time and, and participating in the YouTube forum, uh, that is cool. That is really awesome. I, I love it. Um, it's more fun than watching TV, and it's, it's fun being part of this uh, uh, group of people that put videos online. So. Um, really cool. These 33 round mags are so great. So great. Um, oh, the ammo's not quite too expensive, but it's not as cheap as the 9mm, so that's something that you guys might want to think about too. Okay? Um, and it's not quite as loud though. So, just another thought. Of course, it's not as loud, but uh, it's a little bit snappy. Cool. Y'all take it easy. Have a nice day.